Hey, how's it going? It's Rando coming to you from my house at New Year's Eve. And uh, I'm up here with my uh, Red Solo Cup, just enjoying the evening, listening to some music. You don't hear any in the background yet, but you will. Anyway, so got this, and uh, at midnight, I'm breaking out the old Fezziwig. All right. Okay. So I'm going to show you some of my top albums from this year and some of my top uh, reissues from this year. And uh, not only that, I got a little stack of finds I want to show you, too. Okay. And uh, I'm going to show you some other stuff, too. All right. Hang tight. Okay. One of the things I found is uh, this very nice copy of A Door by Smashing Pumpkins. And um, it's got the, you know, the really shiny cover on it. So it's really cool. And this is the reissue from 2014. And Skatefold. Double album, just black vinyl, and uh, it's got this sticker on the back. Well, it's like a label um, with adhesive on it, holding it in place. It's uh, it's strange. I'm not going to take it off, but I don't think it's supposed to be there. No, nah. but anyway, um, that's not what the back cover used to look like. Anyway, so this was a very nice find. Unfortunately, it cost me 40 bucks. Ouch. But... Is Smashing Pumpkins. If you're a Smashing Pumpkins fan, you'll want to have the first five albums at least, right? Okay. All right. Now, the strangest album I found this year was this one. It's by Angesia, I believe is how you pronounce it. And it's called Ein Tolterfeld Gern Ringspiel. Ring, Ringenspiel. Okay, something like that. It's a uh, German, French, I don't know what it says, but uh, this is one bizarre album. It has uh, kind of a, a death metal kind of lyrics put to piano, and it sounds like a Sweeney Todd soundtrack or something. I don't know what it is. It's bizarre. In fact, if you would like this album, please contact me bizarre okay another one of the finds i found this year was uh this one here by dropkick murphy's and this is the zia exclusive and it is on oxblood vinyl very cool look at that that's awesome and my favorite dropkick murphy's album um has uh the gauntlet and uh and rocky road to double in oh good stuff um, good beefy tunes on here. Really like it. Anthemic. All right. Okay. So, another one of the things I found was Bad Brains Live at CBGB's 1982. Pretty cool. Uh, this is kind of like, uh, you know, it's like hardcore dub. And <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, maybe not as good as some of their early albums, but, uh, uh, it is a pretty wild live show. Um, the hardcore stuff is really hardcore, but there's a lot of kind of dub core on here. So, uh, would I recommend it? Sure. At the price that you're going to find this at, I'd recommend it. Awesome. Okay. So, now I'm going to go into my uh, top five reissues for 2021. All right. Number one. They're not numbered. Anyway, so White Stripes, and this is White Blood Cells. White Stripes, best album in my opinion. And uh, this is, of course, on the Candy Stripe vinyl. And this was kind of a later in the year release, I think. Anyway, great album, and this version sounds great. Awesome. Okay, next one would be The Stooges Fun House. This is a great album by the Stooges. Um, I love it. It's uh, it's good. You can take this any way you want it. You can put it that way. You can put it that way. It's great. And you know, Iggy looks really disturbed, drunk, whatever. All right. And what can you say? There's a that really long song on here is just all noise, and it's great. And that's called uh, I believe it's called um, Dirt. It's a good song. Awesome. Okay. 
Next one is an electronic album by Krostverk. And it is, of course, what is this called? <laughs> this is called Computer World. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, sorry about my German accent there. Um, anyway, um, on yellow vinyl, I found this this summer um, down in Raleigh, North Carolina. And there we go. It's awesome. It's a great album. It's a. Uh, it sounds so um, controlled. Most of it is that one song, and it uh, everything just kind of the wheels kind of fall off of it, and just kind of ooh, ooh, it's great. Just listen to it. You've heard it before. Okay. All right, and probably I didn't say they were numbered, but I tell you what, this is this is tied for first, probably. <laughs> is fleeting joys and of course it is despondent transponder shoegaze this thing got me into shoegaze all year long in fact some of my top uh, albums of this year are shoegaze shoegaze related on one side or the other of it and thanks to this album which is on this kind of really cool purple splatter thing going on there yeah this was this is a great album they also came out with a new album this year in November, which I ordered, but for some reason it's still in Portland, Oregon. Um, but I'll show you that one in a later episode. That would qualify as one of my top, at least top 10 albums for this year. Okay, best reissue. Tied with this best reissue. Loveless, an awesome album. This is one of my favorite albums of all time, and it is just it is noise, it is it is foggy, hazy, every every kind of thing that you can say about shoegaze, that's what this is. And this is I believe ground zero for shoegaze. So awesome album. Everybody knows this album probably. Um if you don't, you really should check it out. This is so great. Alright. And that's my reissues for this year. Now my favorite EP for this year, I'm gonna show you. This is a LA punk band and they're called, whoop, here we go. And they're called Personal Damage. And uh, I know they also put on a, a demo EP earlier this year, which is now on a flexi disc. But this did not come on vinyl. This only came on, of course, this cassette. And uh, of course you can get on Bandcamp and listen to the whole album. And uh, there's, a, there's a song in here called uh, 30 Second Holocaust. <laughs> Excellent. Um, probably my favorite on here is called Out of Tune, and here's a sample. That's awesome. Okay. Personal Damage Ambush. My favorite EP of 2021. All right. Now, I'm going to go into... Uh, here's my favorite electronic album from this year. It is... Kokolon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's called This Will End in Love. And uh, it did come on this uh, really cool colored vinyl here. If I can uh, kind of dig this thing out. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Ooh, that's awesome. And uh, straight up toolkit from Boards of Canada. <laughs> the number five on my list for best albums this year. Well, best electronic album, I'm gonna, we'll give it that. All right, and of course, there is this one. It is Fashion Pimps and the Glamazons and Jazz 
poor Johnny. This is so strange, like Devo Core, I think is what they call this. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's as bizarre as the cover. Um, that chick on there has got like two faces, kind of one stuck in the other one. That was really bizarre, and I think I saw that in the movie. For some reason, I thought it was in Total Recall, but I went back and watched that, and it wasn't in there, so... Um, yeah, just some mutant, but uh, the uh, they're from Cleveland, and their sound is very mutant sounding. <laughs> the guitarist, uh, he's uh, he's very unique. Give this a listen if you haven't already, and here's a little sample. Yeah, that was called Dream Police. All right. All right. Next on my list is Amula and the Sniffers and Comfort to Me. This is uh, fantastic stuff. Um, it says it, uh, it says it comes on Romer Red. Of course, this is not red. This is orange. This is straight up orange. Okay. Not red. So, I'm not sure what they're talking about, but this is uh, some pretty good stuff. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard this, but uh, if you haven't, here's a sample of my favorite song in here. Jamming. All right. An excellent album from Down Under. All right. Now we're going to show you. Oh, by the way, Emil and Sniffers reminded me of this band. And then I saw their album and I had to pick it up. The 22nd Sect. And this is from 1989. It says, Get That Charge. And of course, it's got the electric chair on there and a shadow of a guy getting ready to ride the lightning. Right? Liz. Dealey is her name, the lead singer of this this band. Yeah, check these guys out if you haven't. The 22nd set. All right. Very cool. So, anyway, um, I'm going to show you this before I show you my top two albums of the year. And it is uh, this original X Wild Gift. Found this at our, our local record store. Uh, thanks, Doug. Gave me another good deal, and you can tell it's an original by looking at this uh, t-shirt order form on the back. Isn't that funny? Look at those. The t-shirts look really weird. Probably, I want to say, uh, this and the first album are my two favorite X albums, and they are neck and neck with each other. Um, I just I just love uh, We're Desperate. That's probably my favorite X song. So that's on here, and so happy to find that the um, cover's a little messed up right here. Not too bad, but of course the vinyl is so awesome. Right. This would probably be my dream pop album of the year, and it is this one by Mint Julep in a deep and dreamless sleep. And I just love this album. And if uh, if you're a fan of Oh, I don't know. Um, uh, Bowery Electric, maybe, or Julie Cruz. Oh, man, you really get into this. And uh, this is uh, this is just on black vinyl. And I found this kind of late in the year, but <laughs> I listen to it a lot. It's uh, some good meditative stuff. Check it out. Mint Julep. Oh, right here. Awesome. 
loves it. Okay, so number 1A, Wednesday. And this uh, shoegaze, southern gaze, I don't know what you call them, they're from North Carolina. They are a mixture of indie pop and shoegaze, um, new gaze, if you will, uh, country gaze, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It's a shoegaze with a pedal steel guitar in it. <laughs> I kid you not. This is this is a great album. It may not look like much from the cover. I mean, it just has a, just has Carly there standing in front of a bunch of cars um, that are crushed. But uh, I think that has some meaning because she was in a car crash. And uh, and the lyrics to this song will tell you about that. Is some pretty good stuff um straight up uh awesome and tied with that is shame's drunk tank pink and you would think that they would put this on pink vinyl but not on pink vinyl it's on the blue swirl vinyl and actually this is a uh, um, music on vinyl release so this is very cool and I want to play this sample for you because they are awesome. Listen. If you're into post-punk punk, this is a great album. I guarantee you'll listen to it a lot. It is good. All right. I don't like to make guarantees like that because I don't have a lot of money to back it up with. But that's okay. All right. So I think it may be getting towards midnight. So I've got to open my old fizzy wig. All right. So I hope that you have a great new year. And I'll see you in the future with more finds. All right. Take care.